A crowd of 80,000, the biggest of the tour, packed Calcutta's Eden Gardens to see an Indian team full of conflict face an England side now full of confidence. The change in fortune soon showed when Cowans had Gaikwad caught behind for 18. Sonny Gavaskar, the captain at the centre of India's personality problems, was appearing in his 88th consecutive test, though it was the only record he looked likely to set today. Phil Edmonds soon outsmarted him, taking a wicket in his first over. Gatting's catch making it 35 for two. India had scratched together only 47 by lunch when the more aggressive Amanath took over, adding 91 with Bensaka in the next two hours. But Edmund's bowling, both shrewd and me, never let the situation get out of control. He lured Armanath into a leg trap sprung by Cowdery. And one run later, Vensaka, who'd patiently pushed his way to 48, was left rooted to the spot as Edmunds bowled him round his legs. It took a while for the umpires to convince him what had happened. Vensaka is looking at the leg umpire. Leg umpire says, yes, it was bowled. Ravi Shastri offered the only forceful shots in a tense final session as England's fielding proved as tight as their bowling. The batsman never really looked comfortable and Azaruddin in his maiden test was lucky not to have been stumped by Downton off Pocock. These days England like to take their chances. On this hazy Bengal afternoon, India clung on to finish at 168 for four as Phil Edmonds helped England to see out the old year on a highly professional note. Playing in front of a crowd of 85,000 people, Mohammad Azaruddin, a 21-year-old bank clerk, showed no nerves at all as he joined the selected band of cricketers who scored a century on their test debut. He scored 150 for Young India against England in Ahmedabad. And that took him to his first century for the test side. It took him just over 6 hours and 20 minutes. No doubt there'll be many more. And Shastri, who scored 100 in Bombay, followed by another in the one-day match in Katak, went on to a third century, his fifth in test cricket. And then came England's only success of the day. Gower's catch meant India were 341 for five, as Rudin had made 110.